I'm 12 years old, and this is my first year at AAVN. So, I grew up with technology. I can use technology when I was five or six years old. But she, this is my grandmother, she grew up with traditional games. And this is her when she is using her iPad. And I was at my grandmother's house, and she was asking me to help her to download the music to the iPad. I he touched her carefully step by step. She understood, but the next day, she forgot it all. Actually, I must teach her lots of time after for her to remember, but after all, she forgot it again. <laughs> it's really hard to teach old person. <laughs> Growing up as a girl, I always think that the adult is always right. My parents used to say that to me because they think so. But after last summer, for the first time, I realized that even though I am a granddaughter, I have more knowledge than an adult. I can do lots of things more than most of the adults not always know how to do. My name is Emma. Today, I'm going to show you that why should sometimes the adults must listen to children. So at first, can I ask everyone that have you ever teach your parents or your grandparents something? I have teach my parents and my grandparents lots of things, especially it's about technology. As you know that our parents were born in tough time in Vietnamese war, so there are no high technology like iPad or iPhone or any web page such as Gmail or Google Drive. I feel like my parents and my grandparents were born in black and white. It's too bored. There are many differences between generation in each family. For example, the technology changed time by time, or in your grandparents' time, tech even hadn't appeared. And not just only technology, maybe the education too. As you can see that now there are lots of international schools, but in the past, there are no those kind of schools. And at this school, we can learn lots of more interesting about the world, English, technology. Because of that, sometimes the adults must listen to us. This is some pictures when I teach my parents to use the iPhone. Actually, I'm next to them. Sometimes, I also teach my dad to forward the message too. It's easy to teach our parents, but it's hard to teach our grandparents because they are older and it is, it is difficult. But I still teach them how, a little bit of English, how to make the text bigger or open the news on the internet. I not just teach them to use the technology, but I also explain the things that they don't understand. Sometimes, I translate the news from English to Vietnamese from my grandmother. But we need to teach again and again so that they can remember. That proves that don't just the adults teach the children's knowledge, but the children can teach and spread the knowledge. Besides, children not... No, on the other hand, <laughs> sorry. I don't just teach the adults to do something, but I also protect my point of view in front of them when I think what is right. That means that I make the adults to think that problem is right like me. For example, when my uncle came home late for our Lunar New Year party, my dad called him and shouted him. I totally disagreed with my dad, and I, said, and I said to my dad that, you cannot shout at him like that. After all, he is your older brother. And the important is, he is my uncle. How could you shout at him like that? It was wrong. And then my dad, he is quiet because he knew he was wrong. That is an example. Adults never listen to children. <laughs> Besides, children not always need to listen to the, uh, the adults. I remember that one time in my English class, my teacher is Miss Cameron. He is, uh, she is also my TEDx coach, and she is right there. Thank you. She asked all of the class that, do you think that the adults are always right? I answered no, and today I'm here to, improve that my answer is, to prove that my answer is right. They are adults, doesn't mean that they are always right. Doesn't matter I am a secret or not, I still have my voice. Everyone in their life will make mistakes, not except the adults, but it includes every age from small to older age. I'm sorry to say this, but each of you had made mistakes already. So why did some Vietnamese parents and the parents in all of the world always say to their children that they are always right? 
I agree that the middle school are still young and we sometimes it's wrong something or we don't understand something. But as an adult, you just need to talk gently to your children. You don't need to shout at them. In my opinion, by that way, your children will be easy to learn and they will be happy. I know this is just a speech of a sixth graders like me, but I can understand a part of it because my parents sometimes shout at me too, and I feel very bad. But when they talk to me gently, I feel happy and I feel willing to improve. But please don't think that we are always right. If you think your idea is right, you need to check your thinking again before you argue with your parents. Now, nowadays, Vietnam already joined the world economy. Technology changed day by day. The information update every day. So I hope that Vietnamese parents and the parents in all of the world can change their mindset about adults is always right and understand the children instead of hit or shout at them. Thank you.